Community activists are calling for change after a deadly day in the metro. I'm Emily Hallwick. Two shootings left three people dead, including two juveniles. KNBC 9's Peyton Headley is here with the frustration from activists. Emily, community activists said Kansas City is a dangerous place, but that it doesn't have to be. They're calling for people to put their guns down and are looking for any solution to end the violence. It was a violent weekend across the metro. Two boys are now dead after a shooting in Raytown Sunday afternoon. It happened near 87th and James E. Reed Road. Trying to figure all the details out on that. Just minutes apart and seven miles north. Another man died after being shot on the front porch of a home at East 35th and Garfield. And Saturday afternoon, officers found a man stabbed to death in the stairwell of an apartment complex near 49th and Agnes. It's disturbing, you know, our, our city uh, is on fire. Now community activists are frustrated and calling for change. Our whole community have gotten numb to this situation of uh, uh, these homicides where young people are getting killed. It's just been crazy, uh, shooting after shooting, uh, people getting stabbed. They say Kansas City has a public safety issue. Crime in Kansas City is out of control. Our community is on edge. And they say more needs to be done. It just needs to stop. How do you think it's going to stop? I mean, I really couldn't tell you how it's going to stop. They're hoping violent weekends like this one stop happening. They emphasize that this is a people problem and that more needs to be done to address mental health issues before they can expect to see any change. Emily.